Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about starting over, um, setting goals, resolutions, starting on a path, getting back on a path, um, just really moving forward in your life. That is the bottom line. So if this is your first time here with me, I'm really happy to have you. My name is May. I am a lawyer and entrepreneur. And if you've been here before, welcome back again. I really appreciate you guys so, so much. All right, so let me explain this a little bit further. So right now we are still at the beginning of 2016. If you're watching this right when the video goes live but even if you're watching this way later on in the year don't think that this is just a New Year's resolution video you can really do this process at any point um, just know that so even if you find this later it's okay um, stick with me so basically at the end of last year 2015 actually not even the end like starting in the fall of 2015 I realized that like the new year was coming I need to kind of like get it together you know it was like end of October November and I was like I need to start thinking about kind of what I want to accomplish in the new year and um, just to kind of like organize my thoughts I'm not huge on resolutions but I did want to like set some um, kind of overall themes of things that I wanted to focus on well even though I had the best of intentions November came and went December came and went and I still did not feel prepared and ready for the new year I didn't feel organized I hadn't set any goals resolutions themes whatever you want to call it I just wasn't ready for the new year and so I started out just joking on like Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and saying that February is the new January because I was not ready for January when it rolled around and I just wasn't ready for the new year so I was like you know what I am just gonna go with February as my like new beginning of the year and what started out as a joke has really kind of turned into this big um, motto for me in my life. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I do not um, focus too much on these kind of like arbitrary dates. I've been saying this since the beginning of my YouTube life. Um, I really think that you can start fresh and start new whenever you want. My um, 2015 organization series way back in 2014 um, as we were preparing I told you guys then you can start over have a fresh start whenever you want and I still believe this and that was a lot of the reason why I believed that February could be the new January um, because you can really decide to start fresh whenever you want so I do have a couple of tips that I want to share with you guys if you kind of want to get organized um, and want to get started but just know that again even if you're watching this in October um, or June or whenever and it's not February anymore don't worry you really can get started at any point um, the point of all of this is to move forward and I think we get so stuck in these like arbitrary dates that we feel um, like we can't move and we feel confined because it's a Wednesday and we have this idea and we want to get started but it's the middle of the week and I don't know what I'm doing should I just wait until Monday you know what I mean like do you guys feel that way I've been kind of sharing this here and there um, like I said on Instagram or in Facebook groups and I've been getting a lot of feedback that a lot of you are um, on the same page as well so really more than anything I just want to tell you guys that um, you're not alone there's a lot of us that are still not ready to go um, and still don't feel organized enough but um, you're not alone and just know that really you need to just kind of pick a day and start that's the most important thing so that's really my first tip is to just move move forward and just decide that you're going to do something. Um, don't like get down on yourself and don't feel like, oh my gosh, why am I not ready? It's already February. I don't know what I'm doing. Like whatever. None of that stuff matters. Um, just be kind to yourself and like move forward and know that you're not alone. So just pick a date. Who cares? It doesn't matter if it's a Wednesday, if it's a Sunday, if it's a January 27th, if it's February 12th, if it's October 31. Doesn't matter. Just do it. Does October have 31 days? I think so. Yes. <laughs> Anyway, the point is it doesn't matter like you just need to decide and you need to do it Honestly, I'm gonna say something that's probably a little bit controversial, but I feel like sometimes we use these like um, New Year's or the beginning of the week or whatever as an excuse because we um, maybe are afraid to act 
impact on our ideas or goals or we're just kind of like um, intimidated by something and so we think okay well I'm not gonna do it right now because it's a Wednesday and like no one can start on a project on a Wednesday or you know it's November I can't start on anything new until January 1st and so that makes us feel better because we haven't really done anything but it's okay because it's not the new year yet I'm not saying everyone does that but I think that that does give us a little um, level of comfort in knowing that it's okay that we haven't like done anything yet or taken any steps forward so anyway that's tip number one just start moving forward doesn't matter pick a date who cares just do it and then the second thing I want to tell you guys is I do think it's very very important for you to buy two brand new things and that is a new planner and a new notebook now hear me out on this you guys know I never like advocate buying new planners or new things or whatever I share new planners with you guys because I want you guys to have um, all the information to like make a good decision but I really try to stress that you don't have to invest a lot of money in order to um, start a project or anything like that but in this case I do really want you guys to go out and buy a new planner and a new notebook and the notebook can be a 50 cent one from Walmart it can be a beautiful Levenger one whatever you want it doesn't matter just the fact that you have these two brand new like fresh things to get you started that will help you you'll be surprised the effect that'll have on you um, it'll add a little kick in your step it'll give you a little bit of extra motivation and sometimes that's all that we need sometimes we just need that brand new notebook that is blank and just staring at us and is welcoming all of our new plans and ideas and thoughts um, and sometimes we just need that new planner to like be excited about getting back into it again so I know for a lot of you um, I've seen and heard and this has been me too that I just um, wasn't excited about my 2016 um, organizational system I've told you guys that even in the video where I showed it that it wasn't like the end-all be-all like I love this system it's my planner piece I've just been using it because it works and because um, I'm just so busy that I need to kind of get things done. So I know definitely for me, um, buying a new planner was really kind of the kick in the butt that I needed to like start moving forward. So get yourself a new planner and a new notebook. And if you want to buy a few more things, that's fine too, but I don't think that's required. But really, if you want to kind of get going and need that extra bit of motivation, then I think those two things will certainly help you get there. And then really, you guys, don't get too caught up in this goal setting and am I doing this correctly and have I filled out these worksheets I've said this to you guys before and I believe it to be true I think we get too caught up in everything that's happening in the hype of like the new year or organization or setting my goals or I'm not gonna be able to do this unless I um, enroll in this course or if I buy this then this will help me set my goals that's not the case at all like I think you just really need to do something now, do I think it's important to set your goals? Absolutely. But if you find yourself becoming so overwhelmed by all these things that are around you, then just go back to the basics. Use that brand new notebook that you bought, write down the goal that you want to achieve, and then list the steps that you need to get there. Really, you guys, that is all it takes. Basic, simple goal setting 101 is that. Now, do I think that there can be more involved in it? Absolutely. And I'm actually working on a really cool um, module, masterclass, like workshop thing that I'm going to share with you guys on um, achieving your goals and setting goals. And I'll definitely share that with you guys. And I think it'll be beneficial for a lot of you. But what I'm saying is don't jump all the way to step number five when you're feeling so overwhelmed and you just kind of want to get this fresh start, right? So so start simple, start basic, start with that piece of paper or that brand new notebook of yours, start there and then you'll work your way to the point where you can take my class or you can um, you know do something else read a different book but when you're already so like frazzled and overwhelmed and feel like it's February and I haven't done anything yet then it's not gonna do you any good to be all the way over here when really you need to just start at the beginning so um, definitely there are a lot of great resources out there for you but at this point when you're just trying to start fresh and like start new and take baby steps to um, 
um, getting your goals set and achieved and kind of starting over, then um, just start really basic and simple. That's always the answer for me for anything. When someone tells me that they're overwhelmed with the planner community, I always say start back at the beginning, back at basic. So I think that definitely applies here as well. Um, just start simple, write down your goals, do something, pick a date. You guys, I also designed a whole entire sticker set around this theme. February is the new January, so don't get too caught up in the February part of it. Again, like I've said a million times already, um, even if it is May and you want to start um, a fresh start and you want to start working on a project or a goal, then you can do that as well. But I'm so, so passionate about this idea that you can really start something new and be organized and decide that you're going to essentially change your life and change the direction that you're going, you can do that anytime. I believe that. So for me, February is the new January. That's just a um, overarching umbrella that encompasses everything and means that whenever you want to start fresh, you can. So I am so excited about this sticker set. It is something that was really um, born out of love because I believe in this concept so, so much. So um, it's a really amazing sticker set, you guys. It's probably my favorite one so far. Um, I know that's hard to say because I love them all, but um, check out the sticker set. I will definitely have my shop link down below. It includes some motivation to kind of help you get started on whatever day it is. Tuesday, Monday, doesn't matter. Um, it has some motivation. Also, there's a really special sticker in there that says you're brilliant, and I want to speak to that for just one second. You guys, I put that in there very, very purposely because I want you guys to realize that you are accomplishing things, okay? You're brilliant, you have amazing ideas, and you are actually accomplishing things. Sometimes when we want to start fresh and we're setting goals and we want to kind of change our path and, um, you know, new year, new you, and all this stuff, that leads us to believe that we're not already doing great things in our lives, and we are. You guys, we are accomplishing so many things. So there's a sticker on there that says you're brilliant, and there's another one that says good job, and it's a check mark, and I want you guys to be very, very intentional in using those, and I want you guys to use them and to celebrate your accomplishments and celebrate the things that you have already accomplished. Sometimes we get so caught up in what we want to do and like getting so frazzled by like, I'm not organized, I haven't set these goals, it's a new year, it's Monday, it's the fall, it's whatever, like I need to um, do something and we don't realize that we've already done so much. So um, again, while that sticker set is supposed to be motivational and is supposed to like give you a kick in the butt to get things going, just please know that I really want you guys to celebrate the things you already have done and you've already accomplished and that's tip number I don't know what we're on three four I don't know where we are um, but just that is another tip to you guys take the time to celebrate the things you have accomplished and you have done because I promise you when you start to write it down and look at it you'll realize that you're already doing so many cool things and it'll help you to be motivated to kind of get um, back on track or to start down a certain path so definitely you guys check out those stickers. I think they're amazing. Um, they'll be linked down below. And I have other videos that kind of talk to you guys about how you can print my stickers and more information on that. But if I can help you in any way with the stickers, just feel free to send me an email. That's the best way to get a hold of me. Um, and I'll help you guys with the stickers for sure. And keep an eye out, you guys, because like I said, I have some really, really exciting um, resources that I want to share with you guys. There's not going to be any of this like fluff, you can do it, let's do this um, kind Kind of stuff at all. It's going to be straightforward. My knowledge is straight to you guys. Um, I've had a lot of success in my life and I'm so, so grateful for that. But what I've realized is that um, if I can't share that with others, then it really doesn't mean anything. And I always believe that my purpose on this earth is to be of service to others. That's um, what I really, really believe deep down is that um, we've all been created to serve humanity and to make the world a better place. So I want to be able to share um, the things that I've learned and my experiences and my knowledge with you guys. So get ready because we're going to have some amazing things in 2016. So anyway, you guys, a super chatty video, I know, but I just wanted to really speak from the heart to you guys about this. Um, I didn't have anything prepared. I just 
really wanted to share with you guys. I do believe that any time you are ready to make a change in your life and to set goals and to start down a path, um, that you can do it. Like I said, I've been telling you guys this for a while. I know, I know I probably sound like a broken record, but I just really want to encourage you guys to um, go out there and do the things that you've been designed to do, the things that have been in your head and on your heart for a long time, then just go out there and do them. Really go out there and do them. You can do it. And like I said, doesn't matter when you find this video, um, you can do it. So whenever you're ready for your fresh start, then I hope that you'll go out there and accomplish it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this is helpful for you. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Check out my stickers down below and I'll talk to you guys soon.